Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Number 10 is the MiG-31. The MiG-31 was developed in 1970s as part of an overall program, which meant to provide the Soviet air defenses the ability to meet the threat posed by NATO strike aircraft and cruise missiles. This interceptor has a high speed, altitude and rate of climb, however it sacrifices maneuverability in order to achieve these capabilities. The MiG-31 is among the fastest production jets, it is the maximum speed of around 3 Mach. This jet uses missiles to shoot down enemy aircraft at long distances. The latest version is the MiG-31BM. This is billed as a true multi-role plane, able to undertake long-range interception, precision strike and defense suppression tasks. Both cockpits feature advanced displays allowing the crew to deploy precision-guided munitions. A project to upgrade Russian interceptors to the MiG-31BM standard was begun in 2010. Number 9 is the American Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon. It was a lighter, less expensive alternative to the F-15 Eagle. Unlike the F-15, which is purely an air superiority fighter, the F-16 is a multi-role aircraft capable of attacking air, and also ground targets. This aircraft is small, but highly maneuverable. The F-16 has a bubble single-piece canopy for excellent pilot visibility. The F-16 has been produced in large numbers and participated in numerous conflicts. So it makes the F-16 fighting Falcon battle proven. Over 4,500 aircraft have been built. It has been widely exported and is currently operational with 26 countries around the world. The F-16 is still in service with the U.S. Air Force and will remain operational until 2025. In the future it will be replaced by the new F-35 Lightning II. Number 8 is the Su-35. The Su-35 multi-role fighter has been adopted by the Russian Air Force in 2012. It is a significantly developed version of the Su-27. It is being offered for export as a replacement for the Su-27 and MiG-29 fighters. Developers refer the Su-35 as 4 plus generation fighter. It is a very fast, and highly maneuverable fighter with very long range, high altitude capability and heavy armament. It poses great threat to Western 4 plus generation fighters. The Su-35 is primarily an air superiority fighter, however it has secondary air to ground capability. This aircraft can carry enormous amount of weapons. It has 12 wing and fuselage hardpoints, and can carry ordnance with a maximum weight of up to 8 tons. Its large and powerful engines enable the supercruise for a long time. Also its engines allow to reach supersonic speeds without using an afterburner. Furthermore the engines have a three-dimensional thrust. Number 7 is the F-15E Strike Eagle. It is an all-weather multi-role strike fighter derived from the previous F-15 Eagle. The Strike Eagle was designed in the 1980s for long-range, high-speed interdiction without relying on escort or any electronic warfare aircraft. The F-15E's deep strike mission is a radical departure from the original intent of the F-15, since it was designed as an air superiority fighter, while the F-15E Strike Eagle was designed for ground attack. It retains the air-to-air -air lethality of the F-15, and can defend itself against enemy aircraft. Furthermore, to extend its range the F-15E is fitted with two conformal fuel tanks that hug the fuselage. The Strike Eagle has been deployed for military operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and Libya among others. During these operations the F-15E has carried out deep strikes against high-value targets, combat air patrols, and provided close air support for coalition troops. It has also been exported to several countries. Number 6 is the Rafale. It is a French twin-engine, introduced in 2001, multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. It has a very high level of agility. 
Dassault chose to combine a delta wing with active close coupled canard to maximize maneuverability. The plane features an integrated defensive aid system, which protects the aircraft against airborne and ground threats. The Rafale has been marketed for export to several countries, and it was selected for purchase by the Indian Air Force, Qatar, and the Egyptian Air Force. It has been used in combat over Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Iraq and Syria. Number 5 is the Eurofighter Typhoon. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine, Canard Delta Wing multi-role fighter. The aircraft's development began in 1983 with the Future European Fighter Aircraft Programme, a multinational collaboration among the UK, Germany, France, Italy and Spain. Disagreements over design authority and operational requirements led France to leave the consortium to develop the Dassault Rafale independently. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a highly agile aircraft, designed to be a supremely effective dogfighter in combat. Later production aircraft had been increasingly better equipped to undertake air-to-surface strike missions, and to be compatible with an increasing number of different armaments and equipment, including Storm Shadow and the RAF's Brimstone. The Typhoon was first used in combat during the 2011 military intervention in Libya with the UK's Royal Air Force, and the Italian Air Force, performing aerial reconnaissance and ground strike missions. Number 4 is the Chengdu J-20. The Chengdu J-20 is the new Chinese stealth fighter. It was designed to compete against other fifth-generation fighters, such as the US F-22 Raptor and Russian pac -Fa. Low-rate initial production of this stealthy aircraft commenced in 2015, but the first operational fighters were delivered to Chinese Air Force in 2016. The J-20 is a medium and long-range air superiority fighter, which has a secondary ground attack capability. The new Chinese warplane is actually an advanced fourth generation, rather than a true five-generation fighter. It has two large internal weapon bays for long-range air-to-air missiles and two small side-mounted weapon bays for short-range air-to-air missiles. Missiles are stored in these weapon bays in order to reduce the radar cross-section. It also has large fuel tanks for long-range missions. It carries more fuel and weapons than the American F-22 Raptor. Furthermore this aircraft is capable of high-speed operations. Number 3 is the F-A-18 Super Hornet. The Boeing F-A-18E and the F-A-18F Super Hornet are twin-engine carrier-capable multi-role jets, based on the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. The E version is a single seat, but the tandem seat F variant is larger and more advanced derivatives of the F-A-18 C and D. The Super Hornet also has improved avionics. The enlarged airframe over the previous version incorporates measures to reduce radar cross-section of this aircraft. The Super Hornet has an internal 20mm M61 rotary cannon, and can carry air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. Additional fuel can be carried in up to five external fuel tanks, and the aircraft can be configured as an airborne tanker by adding an external air refueling system. Currently the Super Hornet is one of the most capable US Navy's multi-role fighter. The Super Hornet is also in service with Australia as the main fighter aircraft. Number 2 is the F-35. It was developed under a joint strike fighter program, which was intended to replace existing aircraft types with a common fighter. In the near future it will replace older warplanes, like the A-10 Warthog in service with the US military. It has a configuration similar to that of F-22 Raptor design, however it is slightly smaller and has only one engine. It exploits stealth technology, which reduces its radar cross-section and makes it harder to detect for radars. This multi-role fighter can perform on air defense missions, close air support and tactical bombing. It is compatible with the latest air-to-air, -air, and also air-to-ground missiles. This aircraft is proposed in three main variants, including the F-35A conventional takeoff and landing jet, F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing plane, and F-35C carrier-based aircraft. These variants share about 80% of their parts to keep development and production costs low. It also requires less logistics support. Number 1 is the F-22 Raptor. It is an air superiority fighter developed as F-15 replacement. 
The F-22 is almost invisible to radars. It carries a powerful array of weaponry capable to destroy every enemy target, like the AIM-120 AMRAM. And an internally mounted Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon is embedded in the aircraft's right wing route with the muzzle covered by a retractable door to maintain stealth. Its engines allow the aircraft to supercruise over long ranges, while thrust vectoring nozzles combined with the triplex fly-by-wire flight control system, make it exceptionally maneuverable. The F-22 started life as a straightforward air superiority fighter. However since its introduction this aircraft lacks a formidable air threat from other countries' fighters. Later it evolved towards the multi-role fighter, as strike capability was added. This advanced aircraft was never sold for export customers, even other allies in NATO countries.